In today's video, I'm reviewing the Kofra Expression S1 safety trainers. I've been wearing these safety trainers since April of this year as my safety trainer that I wear whilst I'm gardening. The shoe itself is exceptionally light. With them being nice and light, they're also incredibly flexible and very trainer-like for a safety shoe. They are an S1 rated safety shoe, so they have a toe cap, which is fiberglass rated at 200 joules and a puncture resistant sole. The upper is a breathable and abrasion resistant fabric with a internal liner designed to wick away the moisture to keep your feet nice and dry. You have a Kofra own brand light foam insole made of polyurethane foam with breathability holes at the toe end. The sole unit is another Kofra own brand. It's an extra light sole unit and quite strikingly, it doesn't have any sort of additional rubber or anything on it. It's purely the sole unit, um, which does take some getting used to as it is bright white. As I mentioned, it's metal free as well. It costs 70 pounds here in the UK and comes in sizes from UK 5 to UK 13. It doesn't technically come in different colors, but there are shoes with different names with exactly the same specifications that are in different colors. So effectively, you can get different colors. The overall experience of wearing them has been pretty positive. They are generally pretty comfortable. I've always struggled with safety trainers. I've never found one that's like amazing. They never fit or feel like a trainer does. These come pretty close. So wearing them for all day, they are pretty comfortable. The footbed in particular is nice and soft and comfortable and the sole unit provides a decent bit of shock absorption and sort of comfort whilst walking but also providing plenty of grip even on wet slippery grass it does a pretty decent job keeping you upright. So far though a relatively limited period of time of wearing them they have held up pretty well as well. The particularly the upper there is really no damage at all and it feels as if it should rip to pieces but it because it's so soft and sort of flexible but it's held up really well and even the sole unit obviously there's a bit of wear and tear but it is generally standing up very well to the ravages of wearing them every single day and generally a shoe like this I tend to only get maybe a season or a season and a half out of them so so far even though it's not a huge sample size they are holding up pretty well. Now moving on to more negatives, and a lot of these negatives are gonna be related to the fact that I'm wearing them as a gardener and I'm wearing them outside, more so than anything necessarily wrong with the shoe itself. So do please bear that in mind. Obviously wearing them outside, the fact that they're not waterproof is a bit of an issue, but they never profess to be waterproof and I didn't buy them expecting them to be waterproof. But the fact that, you know, particularly this year, we've had a really wet sp spring and summer has meant that, you know, if you wear them, you're going to get wet feet. Of course, if you're wearing them inside as a tradesman or something like that, it's not going to be an issue for you at all. Another thing I've noticed so far is they're not quite as breathable as I would hope they were. You know, the upper claims to be breathable, but all uppers do. The heat and the moisture does tend to get trapped into them. I've had more breathable shoes and even safety shoes that are more breathable than these ones. You know, you're gonna end up with slightly stuffy feet in these. And another more specific issue for me is the width of the shoes. They are slightly too, too narrow for my feet. I have ever so slightly wide feet, um, or I'd like to say just normal size feet, but I find that these ones pinch a little bit across the toes and there's not a huge amount of space for your little toe. I'm really happy to recommend them as a good option if you're wanting something that's going to be you know as close to a trainer as you can get but still have that peace of mind of the protection of the S1 rating. I will of course leave a link to these in the description so you can check them out for yourselves and if you have any questions or anything like that do drop them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this. That just needs to say, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.